COVID-19 live where we spoke to Media Minister Kihilia Rambukwella. Welcome to the program, Minister. Thank you. Minister, I'd like to start off by asking you, as Sri Lanka commemorates one year after the war, certain groups outside and within the country are still harping on the human rights violations. So what is the government's plans to move forward with this in the sense to counter these allegations and this sort of questioning about issues that happened a year ago? Firstly, I must say, <clears throat> 30 years is a long time of one's life. Perhaps it was the whole lifetime. <laughs> right. Uh, even a retired person, a senior citizen, it's 50 percent half of your life. And so he was uh, saddled with uh, terrorism. And uh, suddenly it took a different turn in 19, 2005 when the president took over. And there was firm de uh, uh, decisions taken and uh, total determination to eradicate uh, terrorism. <clears throat> now, in this uh, process, I think uh, it's not an easy thing, easy task. So, Dealing with the, one of the most notorious terrorists in the world, you're not going to be a cakewalk or a bed of roses. I mean, the journey was tough. Uh, obviously, the groups outside, locally, were interested in, uh, you know, to see the welfare of the average citizens of the North and the East. We did our best. Of course, there could have been certain instances where uh, the terrorists had their own way of dealing things and handling things and tactical moves where the blame came into the or to the government and we have taken it up and we will be answering them and we will be handling that. We are trying to uh, settle issues, um, look at purely on humanitarian grounds and down the line maybe there have, there have been one or two mistakes. I am not saying that it has been a perfect uh, journey. Uh, we will uh, deal with those things. And then I think the president, uh, with good faith, uh, is uh, that he appointed the commission to um, lessons learned and uh, reconciliation. Now, that's uh, very encouraging. You know, I mean, to, uh, we, we could uh, always share things with all these uh, rights groups and all these people as we go on with that uh, commission. We have a call online. Hello. You're with Hot Seat Live. Can you please mention your name, your location, followed by a question from Media Minister Kehelia Rambukwella? Uh, yes, I'm calling from the Minister from UK. Uh, I'm a Tamil expatriate living in the UK. Uh, once and for all, I would like to thank you uh, for defeating terrorists. I mean, uh, that is a good news. But what uh, the question realized now uh, that, um, uh, in UK uh, between uh, Tamil expatriates what action you have taken uh, to settle Sri Lankan Tamils who are living in Jaffna right now? And I think that will reach uh, beyond beyond uh, the peace, what you're trying to achieve. Could you please explain to me now? Well, it's a very broad and wide uh, thing. I think I need at least uh, quite a time to explain that. I, I'm, I, I'm, I totally agree with you that we need to look at and we need to win the hearts and the minds of the people. You know, I don't want to talk about Tamil people. They are all Sri Lankans now. I mean, that's that's uh, that's what we really want to see. Uh, part of our Sri Lankans have, was affected during the last 30 years for a variety of reasons. Terrorism on one side, counter-terrorism, all that would have affected them. So it's time to bridge that now. It's time to uh, 